Hey, I'm Paul. Today I want to discuss subscribing to audio editing apps like Adobe Audition and now Twisted Wave, who has decided to join the sub club. Now, if you're a Mac user and a voiceover artist or a podcaster, this might send you shopping for another alternative depending on where your budget is. Well, let me show you the alternatives that I found and see what you guys think. As we know, Audition has been a subscription for a good while now, and some of us turned to Twisted Wave to avoid that sub. But the other day I opened up Twisted Wave and I got the message that starting with version 29, you'll need a subscription in order to continue receiving updates. That price is $10 a month or $100 for the first year, and a discount the second year, and then another discount for the third year. And if I'm understanding the verbiage correctly, there's an option to pay the sub on and off as long as you pay for a full year. Then you fall back to the version where you started. I'll link the upgrade policy below from Twisted Wave in case I misunderstood it. The good news is Twisted Wave should work for a while as long as your OS supports it, and there are other options when it doesn't. Apple does update the OS every year, so we'll see how long compatibility will last. You know, maybe this was a difficult decision for Thomas to make, and I wish him well. And the reality is that we can get that cost and pass it down to our clients. But if we don't want to do that, then let's go over the requirements that I have to find that replacement app. One of those requirements is that it needs to be a fast and simple interface to use. One, record, edit, and export major formats like WAV and MP3. Two, have a basic set of plugins and third-party support. Three, needs to be stable. Four, a reasonable amount of current updates. And five, as a bonus, I love to see a plugin rack or stack or chain. For the apps that don't have a plugin chain or rack, Waves offers a free version of Studio Rack that supports third-party VSTs. Plugin racks are great when using multiple plugins on a repeated task like processing voiceovers, for example. You set up your rack once and then tweak along the way as you need to to maintain a consistent result. Audacity is probably the most popular choice among users, so I added it to this list, but not really my favorite. I've had technical issues with it, plugin compatibility issues, and the interface is just a little dated and clunky. There's also the privacy issues that were supposedly resolved, and I get that it's free, and if it works for you, great, but I think I'll pass. Next, Ocean Audio is great and also free, but please donate so they continue improving the app. Ocean Audio has no problems recording, editing, and exporting to WAV, MP3, and other formats. It has a basic set of plugins, including some noise repair and support for third party. I've had very little technical issues other than an occasional plugin not working correctly. Unfortunately, it has no plugin rack or chain, but it does work well with Wave Studio Rack. This is a very good option. Next up is Amadeus Lite and Pro, and to me, these are very similar to Twisted Wave when it comes to features and checks off most, if not all, the boxes. The Lite version might be all you need, while Pro adds multi track batch processing and real time audio units. Now there's a little few things that you need to get used to that's different from Twisted Wave and the way the plugin rack works and the way it previews the plugins. It's a little different, but you get used to it and you learn to live with it. Also, I wish it had better metering that included loudness. WaveLab Elements is a solid performer. It doesn't support audio units, only VSTs. The workflow and interface is a bit different to Twisted Wave, but not difficult to learn. Also, I noticed that the app will randomly scan all plugins at launch, even if you just installed one plugin. This can slow you down. There's also a version called WaveLab Cast that is more affordable and made for podcasters. The next three I'll mention together since they all are similar in function, Isotope RX10, Acon Digital's Acoustica, and Audio Lava. These are a suite of audio repair and restoration apps that can record. These three check off all our boxes. RX10 can have issues with some third-party plugins and is pricey. Acoustica is my favorite of the three with two options. They have standard and premium. Audio Lava is another option and it's also from Acon Digital. I'd rather spend the extra money and get Acoustica standard, but for $30, it's not a bad choice. All right, so last, I downloaded the trial of Sound Studio, but found that while it did cover three of the five features I'm looking for, it has not been updated since January of 2022. And for me, that's a huge strike. It's not the worst, but it's not my favorite. There's a trial on their site if you want to test it for yourself. All right, so that's it. Another option is that you can get into something simple like GarageBand, or maybe something pro like Logic or Pro Tools or DaVinci Resolve, Reaper. Um, there's many other options out there. As for me, I'm gonna keep using Twisted Wave and I'm gonna go through the apps that I listed in this video and see which one I like best. All right, so I hope you guys like this video. Stay healthy and stay safe.